Well, we're back again. I don't have Gia with me. She's somewhere in the house. <laughs> I forgot to get her. Anyway, I am drinking as I'm speaking in my Tea Forte Teaware mug, um, Melbourne, which is from T2. And this one is basically just black tea with vanilla. Very basic. I absolutely love it for breakfast. It's really another one of my favorites. I know I have a lot of favorites. Okay, today I want to go over some of my favorite uh, teas, and one I think could fall under the fall teas. Okay, this one's an adagio, and it's rooibos pecan turtle. This is a really great tea, and what I've done with this one, just a um, sharing my little tip here. I've mixed it with the chocolate truffle from Adagio, but you can mix it with any favorite tea of your choice. If you wanted to go chocolate, you might have a chocolate tea from another company you really love. Yeah, this one is really, really great. It uh, It's a fun one. Um, rooibos apple. Let's go over these. <laughs> rooibos apple pieces, cocoa nibs, Cinnamon, dark chocolate chips, chicory, golden pecan flavor, natural caramel flavor, and natural chocolate flavor with marigold flowers. It's really a great one, and it's non-caffeine, so it's a good one to just have on its own if you want to put a little creamer or a little sweetener. It holds it. I mean, it's, it's a good one. So that's something you might want to consider, okay? But like I said, I mix my favorite chocolate teas into it. You know, and one of them happens to be the chocolate truffle from Adagio. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go to fava because I spoke about fava tea before. And I think I told you in one of my empties I wasn't real sure. It was the French breakfast, and I haven't reordered it yet. Still thinking I may because it did smell a little different than what I remembered. But one of the teas I really liked from them was the violet buttercream and I don't have they don't put their ingredients so I'm sorry I can't give that to you but if you go on to the site you will be able to look it up it's really a nice tea it is a black tea so bear that in mind uh, it's not super floral because uh -uh, not super floral in fact you do get a lot of the creamy notes which is really nice it's not too high on the violet it's just right. I mean, it's, and I'm not a big super floral person with the teas. I know I've said that before. So, okay. Another one that I think is a good fall option. Of course, it's still not fall here, but that's okay. The Puer Maple Chai from Tilira. This is a really good one if you like maple, if you like chai, and if you like Puer. Um, I know that Puer is an acquired taste, but I love Puer tea. And this one, really, really good. Mm, it's just got the perfect balance of everything in here. Not heavy on one particular ingredient. It does have the uh, puer, obviously, ginger, um, cloves, cream of caramel, cinnamon pieces, cinnamon rods, dehydrated maple syrup, flavoring, cinnamon and cornflower blossoms. This is great and it takes you know cream, it takes sweetener, it just it's another great chai option too for fall tea. Cuz I know a lot of the tea companies are releasing a lot of their fall um, flavors now. Okay, this is a <laughs> this is my report from my last video two videos ago on Simpson and Vale, and I said when I tried their holiday blend, I would let you know. I'm going to order more of this because this is so good. I mean, I have to tell you. Let's go over the ingredients, shall we? Black tea, rooibos, peppermint leaves, organic alfalfa leaves, flavoring, malva blossoms, erica flowers, and vanilla beans. Now, Mm. Let's see if I can show it to you. Okay. It really has been blended. So 
superbly. I mean, there is not one thing that overrides the other. It's very smooth, and it's a great holiday tea. Okay, I would drink this all year round. It's got a very light vanilla chocolate tone to it. It's a really good one, and I've probably had three cups already. So, One of the ones I want to mention is one of the tisans that they carry, and uh, it's lavender lace. Wow, this one is incredible. I don't know if you're going to be able to really see into the package. This is another Simpson and Vale. Okay. No caffeine. But this has such a fresh fragrance to it. And uh, well, shall we go over the ingredients? <laughs> okay. Organic cinnamon, spearmint, organic rosemary, lavender, and lemon verbena. That's it. Pure and simple. And it makes a wonderful cup of tea. I've had it hot. I haven't tried it cold, but it's really, really good. So another good word for Simpson and Vale. Two of them right now. All right, now I want to go over a little treasure because I know that I have spoken about, you know, so many teas. And I like to add a little treasure once in a while. And it doesn't have to be tea. It can be tea wares. It could be something we put in teas. And this time I came across something. <laughs> on nuts.com because I was searching to try to figure out how I could make like a latte you know getting some vanilla latte powder okay and I was having a rough time and so nuts.com had it and uh, this you can mix obviously if you're a coffee drinker you can put it in your coffee I mixed it with a tea and it was wonderful I just put like maybe a tablespoon and a half in there and it does have um, a little bit it does have a little bit of sugar and some of the non-dairy creamer in here um, but it's really kind of fun it's got a little bit of a coffee almost a coffee flavor too so if you're somebody that's transitioning from coffee to tea or if you like tea and coffee combo which some of the tea companies have, obviously, coffee beans in their tea. The Coffee Puer from David's Tea has coffee in it, and I love that one. This is great. If you add this to something like that, you could add it to the Adagio Banana Nut. You could add it to a chocolate tea that you like. You could add this to pretty much anything, because vanilla is very, it goes with everything. And it has just a very light tinge of coffee flavor, so you get this real well-rounded this is a treasure, nuts.com. You might want to try it. Okay, we'll go over some empties and then we will be through because it's going to be short today. All right, so Whistling Kettle. I know um, you guys have seen some of the samples, okay? This one is a Russian Earl Grey and it's really, really good. I've reordered a big bag of this one. Black tea, orange peel, corn uh, flower petals, lemongrass and natural flavors now the lemongrass in my estimation is really what kicks it I love the lemongrass and it's a very good combo so it's Russian Earl Grey from the whistling kettle local and also nuts.com was local too unfortunately I can't tell you where a dot you know the other ones we've we've pretty much gone over those this is an adagio, okay, that you can get when it's in season. Yuletide toddy, it's it's one of my favorites, okay? And it's a fruity tea, no caffeine. Um, let's go over the ingredients. Apple pieces, hibiscus, and I'm not always one for hibiscus, but, you know, you wouldn't want to put creamer in this one. This is just, it holds its own hot and cold. Uh, orange peel, cinnamon bark, ginger root, natural cranberry flavor, dried cherries, natural orange flavor, natural cinnamon flavor, and natural ginger flavor. And it's just a great combination. Now, how you can get it off-season, this is, I did this a few times, is if you have enough rewards built up in the Adagio system, you can, uh, I think it's 100 points, will get you a bag this size. And you can get it all year round. But during the Christmas season, I don't know when they release it. I, I'm going to have to check their website. But, you know, as it gets a little bit cooler, you'll probably see this in their lineup 
to be available. And I, when you see it, it might be something that you might want to try because it's really a good fruit, non-caffeine option for you. Okay, I don't know if I talked about Burden Blend, but this is probably my favorite from them. They are not local. I want to say UK or Canada, I don't remember, but they're far away, but you can order. They deliver. It just takes a little longer. Um, this one is peppermint cream, and for some reason, it's one of my most favorite peppermint combinations. It's an oolong, which probably is why I like it, because it's very creamy, and I like oolong. Oolong tastes creamy to me. So this is basically just oolong, uh, milk oolong, peppermint, and cocoa shells. Really good. If you like peppermint and you like oolong, really good blend. I would highly recommend that one. Okay, Talira makes one that I really like this one too. This is um, no caffeine, I believe. Oh no, there's caffeine in this one. This is a white tea. It's a spiced white pear. Okay, and shall we go over the ingredients on this one too? <laughs> See there, white tea blends. Okay, um, white tea, apple pieces, pear pieces, hibiscus blossoms, rose hip peel, pineapple cubes, cinnamon pieces, flavoring, and sunflower blossoms. And I have reordered this one. This is a really great one. I love it hot. You could have it cold. But I really like it hot. And, you know, it's a white tea. It's healthy for you, like all the other teas are. So that may be one you might want to consider from Tilera. And my last one. Well, I know I've spoken about this one in one of my empties maybe before, but I'm going to go over it again to show you that I really liked it. This is a bigger, bigger container, and I have another one that's full still. But from the Whistling Kettle, they make that Scottish caramel, and I know I mentioned it. If you like Puer, you will love this. Puer Butterscotch Almond Pieces and Natural Flavor. This has such a great combo. Mm. Yes, many of these still smell, obviously, like the tea, because there's like little remnants in there. But oh, I would definitely try this one if you think you might want to venture out into it. You can taste the butterscotch very lightly, uh, the almonds in there, and it just blends so well with that puer. Great combos. They really are. And I think that I've given you some good choices. We're going to probably end this video now because I'm going to keep it short, but thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to know the next time I release, hit the subscribe and then the little bell next to it, and it will let you know when I upload another video. Until then, I will see you next time. Have a good afternoon.